That was beautiful. You're really getting good with your jumping. Thanks, Adam. Good boy, Buck. But there is something I've been wanting to talk to you about. I know you love Buck, and he's been a great horse for you. But I think maybe you should start thinking about moving up and getting a horse that matches your new riding skill. Oh, uh, I never thought of getting a different horse. Well, talk to your parents about it. I think it's a good idea because you could really move up in your riding. All right, I will. Thanks for the lesson, Adam. Sure, get him cooled out and then you can take him back to his stall. All right, come on, Buck. Hey, Lizzie, how'd your lesson go? Pretty good. Adam said I'm really improving with my riding, but he thinks I should get a different horse, you know, so I can move up. That's so exciting! I guess so, but I really like riding Buck. I know you do, but if Adam says it's time to move on, then you need to. Yeah, you're right. Hey, I have a great idea. We can all go over to my house tonight because I found this great website where they have all these horse ads and we can look at horses for sale. And we have like really good Wi-Fi at my house. Okay, that sounds great. But just for fun, because I haven't even talked this over with my parents yet. And speaking of parents, Teresa, make sure you tell your parents we're coming to your house this time. Yeah, we all remember last time when your parents were out and you had us all over, but then they came home early and you had to stuff us all in your attic. I know, I know. I don't need you two to tell me the story all over again. I'll go call them right now. Okay, good. I'm going to get Buck back in his stall. Good job today, Buck. So Lizzie might be getting a new horse. How do you feel about that, Buck? Well, I really like Lizzie, and I'll miss her, but, you know, all beginner riders have to move on someday. Yep, you're right. Okay, we made it! Huh, <sighs> good. But I still don't even know why I came after being trapped in your attic. Because it's going to be fun and we have to pick out a horse for Lizzie. But wait, yeah, why did you come? Because it's not going to be a barrel horse. Um, guys, I think I'll be deciding which horse I get. And I don't even know if I'm getting one. Yeah, we're just going to have fun looking at them right now. Right, so we need to get started before the neighbors hog up all the internet juice. Let's get some sodas, and then we can go upstairs to my room. Okay. Oh, hello, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, girls. Now, I won't be in your way. You have a good time. I'm just going to get dinner started. And here's those orange sodas. Thanks, Mom. Thank you, Mrs. Morgan. You're welcome. But don't you dare spill it upstairs. We won't. I have a great idea. Let's drink our sodas out on the balcony. There's even a table. Great. And it won't be as bad if somebody does accidentally spill something. Hey, Lizzie, how about this horse? Eight-year-old Frisian dressage stallion. No, you guys know I'm more into jumping. Here, Teresa, let me have the phone. How about this guy? Five-year-old thoroughbred jumping stallion. Ooh, what does it say about him? It says he's very good at jumping and is usually very friendly, but can be a bit frisky at times. And he's located around here. Hmm, I'll have to show that to Adam. Guys, I have great news. So I talked to my parents last night and they're gonna let me get a new horse. How exciting, that's great. I know, I really want to show that horse to Adam. Teresa, can I please use your phone? What? No. Ugh, oh, come on, Teresa, really? Okay, fine, but you have to cross your heart, promise that you'll be very careful with it. Don't worry, I'll be careful. 
them, my parents are gonna let me get a new horse. That's great. Yeah, and me and the girls were looking over some horse ads yesterday, and we saw this one horse, and we want to know what you think of him. Hmm, looks like a good candidate. He's not too far from here. We could take a drive out there this afternoon and see what he's like. Yay! Can the girls come? Well, I only have room in my truck for three. Okay, I'm sure Leanna will want to go. <gasps> this is just so exciting! It sure is. Oh, one more important thing. Call your parents and make sure they can meet us there so they can look at the horse too. If they're busy this afternoon, well, maybe we can do it tomorrow. All right, I know they're free this afternoon, so I'll call and tell them to meet us there. Bye, I hope this is your dream horse, Lizzie. Me too, see you later. He's even more beautiful in real life than his pictures. Well, come on, let's go talk to the owner. Hi, I'm Lizzie, and I'm the girl that's very interested in buying your horse. And I'm Lizzie's friend, Leanna. And I'm Lizzie and Leanna's trainer, and Lizzie's parents will be here soon. Wow, it looks like everybody's going to be here. Well, I'm Abby, and this is Spitfire. I can take him over to the hitching post so you guys can check him out, and then you can take him for a ride. Sounds good. Oh, also, if we do decide to buy the horse, we'll have to have a vet check. Of course. Easy boy, Spitfire. Wow, you're a big horse. Whoa, easy. It's all right. He always has lots of energy at the beginning of a ride. Have him trot around a little bit. He's really nice to ride. I just have to get used to him. Come on, buddy. You're going to be my horse now. I can't believe we're getting him. I'm so happy the vet check went well. Ah, oh, he's just perfect. He sure is. Now let's get him home. This is your new home, Spitfire. Me and you are going to be best buddies. We're so excited for you, Lizzie. I can't believe you got him. <gasps> oh my goodness, he's absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> I know, I can't believe it either. I can't wait to ride him. Adam says I can tomorrow. He needs today to get used to his new home. Well, let's get ready for our first lesson together. Whoa, boy, be still while I tighten the girth. See, that wasn't so bad. You just need to calm down. Can you just be still long enough for me to get on? <gasps> I see a jump and I can't wait to do it. What's the matter, Lizzie? He won't be still for me to get on, and I was having a hard time keeping him still to get tacked up, too. Well, he is a young, energetic horse. Maybe after your ride, you can put him in the pasture for a little while. Okay, that's a good idea. I'll hold him still so you can get on. Whoa, boy! This is so fun! Adam, he's bolting! Calm down and do a one rain stop. Oh. Or not. Oops. <gasps> the new horse just bucked off his rider. I, I, I didn't mean to. I was just excited. 
You okay, Lizzie? Oh, I'm fine. This is not how I was hoping this ride was gonna go. I'm just not used to riding hyper horses. I just saw what happened. Is everything okay? Yeah, Spitfire was just living up to his name. Stephanie, you've had some experience with energetic horses. Why don't you ride Spitfire for Lizzie for a little while, just to get some of the energy out? Sure, Dad. Thanks, Stephanie. No problem. Lizzie, you're just used to riding Buck. You'll soon learn how to control Spitfire. I hope so. So, how'd your first lesson go? Well, it was a little rough. Learning to ride him, it's going to take a little while. Lizzie, I need you to come help me. Buttercup won't get up and I think something's wrong with her. Okay, Elizabeth, I'll be right there. Teresa, can you keep an eye on Spitfire? This is his first time in the pasture and I want to make sure he's okay with the other stallion. Sure, no problem. I hope everything's okay with Buttercup. Hey, I'm Spitfire. I'm Spirit. Ah, oh, they seem to be getting along good. Ooh, text message from Brenda. Ooh, some hay. Um, this is my hay. Well, you're going to have to share. Ow! Oh my goodness! I think she's fine, Elizabeth. Growing full sleep longer than adult horses. Oh, okay. Sorry I bothered you. It's all right, no problem. Lizzie, Spirit just kicked Spitfire. <gasps> what? Oh no, this is really bad. Teresa, call the vet. Okay, I have it ringing right now. Well, he's going to be just fine. Let him heal and don't ride him for a few weeks. Okay, good. Thank you, Samuel. No problem. Well, I have other patients to see. Bye, Samuel. See you later, everyone. Well, I'm glad everything's all right. Spirit is usually so good-tempered. Yeah. Well, Sophie's having her lesson soon, so I better go get the jump set up. All right, I'll help you. It's all right, boy. You'll be all better in a few weeks. Lizzie, I'm so sorry about all this. I got a text message and I was so distracted. I wasn't paying attention to the horses. A text message? Do you want to know how many times your dumb phone has caused things to go wrong around here? I just said I was sorry. I'll try to do better. Yeah, well, this is actually my fault because I should have never have left you to watch him. I'm going home. Don't be so hard on Teresa. It's just one of those things that happens. Yeah, I know. I probably should have introduced them on halters and lead ropes. But like Adam said, Spirit is usually so well-tempered. I don't know. I shouldn't have been so mean to Teresa. Good morning, buddy. How you feeling? Well, I was thinking last night, since we're not going to be riding for a little while, and me and you don't really know each other very good, we could do some bonding during this time. Like, I can groom you, and maybe even teach you a trick, like how to smile. Come on, I can't wait to spoil you with treats. Hey, why you kick me yesterday? Sorry, man. I was just having a really bad day yesterday. Teresa, I'm sorry I was mean. It's all right. <laughs> I'm going to try to start leaving my phone in my car. But anyways, how's Spitfire this morning? Good. We're just grooming and getting to know each other. 
Awesome. Well, I have to go see Tronta because she gets a very grumpy if I'm late to see her. So I'll see you later, Lizzie. Bye, Teresa. Well, Spitfire, I'm sure you would like a treat. You're going to ride Spitfire. Yeah, Samuel was here yesterday and said he's all healed. So it's back to lessons for us. Very nice, Lizzie. He's doing much better than the last time. Thanks. I think we just needed to get to know each other. Hey, youngster, are you going to give us another rodeo? No, Lizzie's a pretty good kid. I've been trying harder not to get so excited, even though it's really hard. We'll have to keep practicing those half halts, but I think he's going to work out to be a very good horse for you. I think he is too. Young horses are a lot of fun. <laughs>